So after a ton of anticipation and after months of the Nord C8 tour being out of stock, OnePlus has finally announced the brand new OnePlus Nord C3 Lite 5G in India. This is a successor of the OnePlus Nord C2 Lite with just some minor changes done to it. Or you can even call it a rebranded Realme 10 Pro with just two major changes. Well, without wasting any more time, let me show you everything there is to know about this brand new device. So this device is completely made up of plastic with a plastic back, a plastic frame and a glass front. It has the same dimensions as the Realme 10 Pro and also misses out on the most iconic alert slider. The design is good but the back catches fingerprint very fast so the included case should come in very handy. Overall, the build and design of this device is really good for the price. In terms of the display, this device has a huge 6.7 inch Full HD Plus IPS LCD display with adaptive 120Hz high refresh rate. It has a touch sampling rate of 240Hz which makes this device feel much more smooth and super fluid. There are some news about the display not going all the way up to 120Hz which is not really good but it can easily be solved by a software update. It has a tall aspect ratio of 20 is to 9 with a peak brightness of 618 nits which has really good visibility outdoors. It has support for sRGB along with DCI-P3 color gamut but the percentage is not mentioned by the company. In terms of protection, the display is covered with Dragon Tail Star Glass protection which would offer at least some protection to the display. At the heart of this brand new device is the Snapdragon 695 chipset which is an octa-core processor based on 6 nanometer mobile platform. It runs on Cryo 660 CPUs and has Adreno 619L GPU. This is a tried and tested chipset which has really good power efficiency that results in good battery life and less heating as well. It does have its own limitations as this is a really old chipset. Talking about the cameras, this device has a triple rear camera setup with a 108 megapixel primary Samsung HM6 sensor with EIS, a 2 megapixel depth sensor and a 2 megapixel macro sensor. The primary cameras are capable of recording videos up to 1080p at just 30 fps as the chipset which is mentioned earlier is not capable yet. In terms of the selfie shooter, this device has a single 16 megapixel Sony IMX471 camera in the punch hole cutout at the center of the display. The selfie camera can record videos up to 1080p at 30fps. This device runs on Oxygen OS 13.1 based on Android 13 which is really similar to the Realme UI but with a little less bloatware. It has a side mounted fingerprint scanner which is definitely fast and super snappy. It has a 3.5mm audio jack which is always a welcome addition. It also has support for hybrid SIM card slot which means it supports two nano SIM card or a nano SIM card and a micro SD card slot that can be expandable up to 1 TB. It has a stereo speaker setup which is always a great addition at this price. In terms of the battery, this device has a 5000 mAh battery with support for 67W superwoo fast charging, a 80W charger available in the box. The device can charge up to 50% in 30 minutes. This device comes in two colors that is pastel lime and chromatic gray. And finally for the price of the OnePlus Nord C3 Lite 5G. It is available in two variants. The 8128GB variant is priced at Rs 19999 and the top end 8256GB variant is priced at Rs 21999. This device will be available from April 11th through Amazon OnePlus India and as well as authorized stores. Well, in my opinion, leaving aside the fact that this is a rebranded Realme 10 Pro, this is a budget friendly device for those who want a OnePlus device. And I can assure you, this is going to be out of stock very soon. Even though there are some cutbacks and the competition does provide better specifications like the iQOO Z7 and the Redmi Note 12 series. But if you ask me, 
I have already recommended this device to a couple of my friends who want a budget friendly OnePlus device. Well, that is it for today. Here is everything you need to know about the recently launched OnePlus Nord C3 Lite 5G. If you stuck around till the end, I really hope that you can subscribe as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon.